Nyt alkaa olla alemmilla tuossa tappaja-ilmettä jo. Kuoleman kurvit, osa neljä. Levin painajainen. <tos> Tällaista olisi siis tarjolla vielä yhden nukutun yön jälkeen. Levotonta nukkumatin ystävää helpotti kuitenkin tieto Markun järjestämästä yllätyksestä ja Porsche-teemaan tutustumisesta jo edellisenä iltana. Siis kuinka monta 911 mallia löytyy Porschelta? Ei, ei mitään haju, monta. Aivan pihalla noista siis, mutta on siis... Kaikki mallit, mitä on 911, todella hienoja. Joo. On. Carrera GTS. En kyllä vaan taju, minkä tämän, että me ei nyt tuoda tähän hotelli aulaan. Joku sanoi jostain yllätyksestä. Nyt tulee joku pitkä saksalainen koripalloilija. No mielenkiintoista nähdä, täällä on no. porukkaa tuttuja varmaan jonkin verran, koska ei tämä ensimmäinen meidän porsche -reissu. Ei, eikä Levillä toinen kerta jo, että ja muutenkin ollaan ajettu. Että... Onko toi muuten tutun näköinen, toi kaveri? Joo, tossahan se tulee. Mikäs ton nimi on? Mä, sinähän sen tiedän. No ei, en sano terve no niin. sille jo, mä tuun perässä. No niin. Ciao Valtteri. Nice to see you. Sen thank you. Vaan sehän maine augen. Kaksi aikakautensa suurta rallilegendaa ja vielä samassa ohjelmassa. Welcome to Finland. Yes. Thank you for our show. It's a pleasure to be here, you know. It's first time to see a real winter time. Hän on siis rallin kaksinkertainen maailmanmestari Saksan Walter Röhr. Markun kova kilpakumppani ja ystävä yli 40 vuoden takaa. Ikäkin on tullut Valtterille mittariin jo 71, mutta edelleen rakkaus autoiluun elää. I'm now working for 25 years for Porsche and I made a lot of development driving, uh, of course public relation like tomorrow and we celebrate 30 years of four wheel drive in a, in a Porsche. Walter oli lupaava laskettelija kunnes rallimaailma vei nuoren miehen mennessään. Ensimmäiseen ralliin hän osallistui 1968 ja viisi vuotta myöhemmin, ensimmäiseen Monte Carloon, josta tuli vuosien saatossa Walterin uran menestyksekkäin ralli. I think that is the most beautiful rally in the world is, is Monte Carlo. I was always crazy about the Monte Carlo, but it was nice. You know, you, it was good for somebody who was fast on, on tarmac and sometimes on snow. Okay, you need always a little bit of luck. You know? All the time luck. No luck, you not yeah, win. Yeah, 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 absolutely. It was my aim in my life. I said, once I want to win Monte Carlo. And after you win how many times? Uh, four times. Oh, only. And four, <laughs> on four different cars. Every year on a different yeah, car. Yeah, yeah. It was also uh, something in my head. I said, I want to show that the man is more important than the car. <laughs> yeah. Yksi asia on kuitenkin jäänyt minua askarruttamaan. Jyväskylän suurajot. Kisa, jonka taas Markku voitti kuusi kertaa. You won uh, four times in Monte Carlo, but how is it possible that you never draw in Jyväskylän ralli? Because I, I hate champion. <laughs> yeah. I always said, no, it is something I yeah, hate. Different, different style, you know. Yeah, yeah, you know, and I think if you make practice on a normal special stage, on a normal speed, you can say, The corner is goes with C speed, but if you don't try a jump, you, you yeah, make yeah. a mistake. Yeah, I'm sure. Yeah. I had always a, a, a Finnish teammate, mm. and I said, "This is home, really. You go to Finland." <laughs> Walter voitti MM-tittelit vuosina 1980 ja 1982. Siitä eteenpäin moottoreiden tehot sen kuin kasvoivat, autoista tuli kevyempiä, neliveto tuli kuvaan mukaan. B-ryhmän muistavat kaikki rallia seuraavat. I think it was maximum, you know. It will never come back. This group be time. This sound. Is... Even today, sometimes I have a chance to, to use the Audi S1. It's in a really neat How was like animals. Yeah, absolutely. And, uh, I have just last week I was watching at home Monte Carlo. And if you see it now, everybody, everybody goes perfectly around yeah. uh, happy because the cars are so easy to drive. Safe, easy. In our time it was difficult. <laughs> if you if you show five people, two was Working sleeve was something was wrong. Handbrake was not yeah, working. Exactly. Something you never know. Yeah. Handbrake is okay. Uh, and know. today it's so perfect. That is everybody and that's a problem. 1970-luvun lopulla Markku ja Walter olivat tallikavereita Fiatilla ja myöhemmin Lanssialla. Walterilla on edelleen tarkat muistot tiimikaveristaan. He was a very nice teammate. He said always, I like to kill you. <laughs> But he was always open, you know, never tricky. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. We, were, we made practice together, 
Yeah. And after two times, they said, it's enough. Right. We go back, yeah, yeah, yeah. you know? Yeah. And it was like this. Yeah. I had different teammates. I said, after two times, it's enough. But in the night time, he went back to make it. Secret one. No, we had yeah. never problems. Yeah. We yeah. were yeah. talking which tires you are using, this mm. one. It was you know, perfect. And at that time, we are practicing, you know, like in Portugal or yeah, yeah, Oslo yeah, yeah. or Greece. We are in three weeks all together every day. Yeah, okay, a little bit maybe in different evening, program for yeah, you. Yeah. We will have but dinner in the evening, in the same every hotel. evening. Yeah. 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 And it was beautiful. That was, That's like family. It, family. it was my, my best time in my early career. It was these four years with the Italian people wow. and with, with Martin. Yeah, yeah. That was really fine. Many times people ask me who you think was your best teammate. I always said Marco. Thank you, thank you. Walter, you still drive very well, hey, I tell you. <laughs> like a young boy. I feel fit like 50 years yeah, ago. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's yeah. very important, hey, very important. Mm-hmm.